Hello, parents. Um, my name is Mr. Snyder, Dave Snyder, and I'm your child's uh, seventh grade science teacher. I want to welcome you to my classroom and the kids as well, and to the strangest year ever that we've anybody's ever experienced. I've been in education now 32 years, and um, I guess you could have been in 50 years, and still, this would be the strangest ever. Um, but I've, I've taught here. This is my 14th year at Blue Ridge, and I'm really happy to be back. I live right in Percival with my wife and three daughters. Um, actually, only one of them is living with us now. But uh, there we are on the left at uh, the Outer Banks this summer, and on the right at Grudos for a treat. And there's my dog, Buddy, in the middle, in the Bichon. In my classroom, <clears throat> I will have snakes. Right now, they're at a student's house, but uh, I do have a corn snake on the left, which is ginger, and a milk snake on the right, which is strawberry. They hardly ever get out, so don't worry. Um, online etiquette, I'm sure you've heard more than you need to know about that, so I'm going to skip over that. The grading, you've probably heard about too, but it's going to be formative assignments and summative. And the formative, don't go towards the average, towards your child's grade. So don't be alarmed if you see a 50 or a 60 or a 70 in there. Um, those, that's practice, and that gives us an idea of what else we need to work on so that when we take the summative, that your student does well, your child does well. We will allow retakes for the summative assignments as well. Issues with the internet are gonna happen. Uh, just let me know, keep me posted. Um, we don't want, um, to add to confusion, frustration, and stress. And we don't want to add to that. I don't want to add to that because of the assignments, because of the internet, because of, uh, you know, not being in school. So um, just let me know. I, I want to work with, with you on that. I know you're stressed too. Everybody has a certain level of stress. But having to work from home and have your kids work at home too, for those of you that are still home, that's a stress. For those of you that go to work, to know that your kid is at home, that's a stress as well. Um, so, you know, I don't want to add stress onto, onto anybody's plate. We have to work together on this. Kids face some stress too, um, doing all this stuff online with nobody there right there to help them. And also they can get screen fatigue. So I do want to talk about that. I get screen fatigue pretty easily. Um, and um, what I do is I lower the brightness on my display and I turn the night light on. I have the night light going all day. So that helps. If your child experiences screen fatigue, there's a little tip. But also, I have these glasses. These glasses filter out the blue light that harms our, our eyes. And uh, the one on the right, the orange glasses, they are better, but not as cool looking. So. <laughs> You can get either kind if you want, if you need them. These are the topics we're going to study this year, the units. And each day we play a Kahoot for review, and we learn about an organism of the day that has a unique ad adaptation. Other, other things I just want to mention, assessments will come up quickly. The formatives do not affect the grade. Let me know if your ex child is experiencing frustration and stress because I can't pick that up from a screen like I would in the classroom. I'd be able to pick that up pretty easily. And even with the challenges we face, we're going to have a great year and your child is going to learn.